My name is James H. Martin. You served on what ship? Served on the USS Charger, the USS Sagamon, the CBE, AKA, and the USS Bibb. It is four, about four ships. And which ship did you see most of the action on? Most of the action was on the USS Sagamon. And you saw a lot of action. On the side of mom, yeah, yeah. We went through 13 battles. 13 battles. All together, yeah. It's amazing. That counted. And we got an accident in on our ship fell on fire. When it got hit in May the 4th, they had about 67 forest explosions from ammunition and stuff on the ship. And if the planes had been serviced with aviation gasoline before it got hit, it, the ship probably would have gone down. But they, they weren't serviced and ready to fly when, when we got hit. I was in communication with them with the captain on the bow of the ship and the uh, communication right directly with him uh, identifying the enemy, whatever they are. And these two uh, Zeke's zeros come low on the water that's going to bomb the ship. And I told the captain these zeros to close it and he said, are you sure? I said, sure, captain. She said, keep an eye on them. So I knew that you had to shoot at them before they shot at us. And I kept an kept a eye on them and I kept asking the captain permission to open fire. It didn't seem like he was going to give it. So evidently I gave it the orders to open fire. And they started firing at these aircraft pretty good, fairly distant away from the ship. And when we started firing at them, they started firing at us with their machine guns in. and it just so happened that their bullets went down they didn't they didn't hit the ship. But one of them got scared and turned his side to the starboard to the starboard port side and they shot him down, the crew the ship's crew shot him down. And the other one kept a coming and dropped his bomb, what's called a skip bomb. It's skipped into the side of the ship and knocked a hole or a dent in the side of the ship, which had to be repaired by the... And after it's over with, the captain <coughs> called me up on the flight deck. First he called the gun crews that had done the shooting to well, talk to them. Tell us how you shot the two planes down. What? How did you shoot the two planes down? I didn't shoot them two down. There's two others I shot down. Okay, which ones and did that's you... That's a different mission. Which ones did you shoot down? Which, Which ones did you shoot down? Oh, I shot down the, the two zeros from a tail gunner in an aircraft over uh, Bougainville. That was that was a trip before this one we're talking about now. Okay. Yeah, that was a different mission where I shot two of them. Now that's how come I come me to be able to identify these two zeros that we're talking about. Because I shot them two down and the, the third one didn't come at us. <clears throat> Tell us about when you shot yours down. Huh? Tell us about the mission where you shot yours down. Well, the, 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 the uh, Lieutenant Commander Akers, and I think he might have a son that lives here, he called on me. I worked in Barbershop. He called on me. I wasn't flying. I just, I just trained for it to go with him to Bougainville, said his uh, tail gunner was sick. Well, I couldn't refuse because I, I was just a seaman second. In orders not to break radio communications, fire any more shot, drop five to one hundred pound bombs, and that's it. And when we dropped the bombs and 
got it over with, we started to get together and go back. And all of a sudden, somebody broke radio solid. Bogies, uh, two o'clock, maneuvering 180 degrees. In other words, it was a turning to go in that pond. I kept glued to that, I kept glued to the sky watching for them. And uh, I, hear, I could hear this Japanese commander, I couldn't tell what he said. We could hear him on, on the radio. And once in a while he'd speak a little English in could hear. And uh, here come one in a little bit. And I got a good beat on him and supposed to fire about eight or ten seconds before that he fired at us. Tracer went under him. I raised it just a little bit and I got him. And down he went into the ocean. And then just a few minutes, here come the other one. And I got a good beat on him, and uh, I got him the first first bullets, I reckon, and he uh, he made a barrel roll and into the ocean. And after that, the man that was giving orders for him to detect us said, huh, nice yank, shoot back. He didn't want me to and I'm glad he did, because I probably shot him down too. I'd try it anyway. I shot about 15, about 30 rounds, I guess, at the two. And I still had some for him if he wanted to come. And we went on back then and the captain jumped me. Why didn't you break them? First he jumped the, the officer was in charge. The officer was in charge says, you will have to talk to him. The captain turned to me and said, how come you disobeyed order that way? I said, Captain, I won't live to go home. He said, well, you will never fly anymore as long as I'm on this ship. So I didn't have to shoot no more. I hung up. Anchor that nobody else couldn't take me anymore. <laughs> wow. And then when I got the, I got the surface sky lookout there in the, in the bow of the ship, he's probably up there. But he, he knew I knew what they looked like and to shoot two of them down. Boy, he's a good old captain. He, he really was good. The only the firing I got done was uh, on that jumping zero and then I practiced 50 caliber, I guess, out there shooting what we call, we thought was a uh, floating uh, mine. And it, that mine would bounce up and down and try to hit it. And I shot a few times before I hit the thing, and I don't know how I ever hit it. Well, <clears throat> well, we're proud of you, James. That was USS Bivens when I shot that 50 caliber. From yeah, I uh, I'm proud of what what I've done, like shooting them planes down and uh, and all of the uh, the things I've done right in, in fighting the enemy, mm -hmm. trying to keep them from getting us. I, I like I like that part awful well. The rest of my service, I. Cutting her, I like that pretty well too. <clears throat> I, I did that on the single on that for a long time. Mm -hmm. Well, we're proud of you, James. Yeah. Well, um, I thank you. I, like I said, though, again, I'm not proud of I'm not proud of nothing except my uh, uh, war, the things I've done and done right in, in the war. Mm -hmm. If I had, we didn't shoot them about three or four times out of 50 caliber. 50 caliber recalling. Mm -hmm. Three or four times all we saw it in. We had to clean that, clean that breach out.